<laughs> Hi, this is Goggett, and uh, good morning to everybody. It's uh, <clears throat> excuse me, it's early morning here. In fact, it's uh, eight o'clock in the morning. Uh, got me a cup of coffee here, and uh, what this video is about is uh, about my second surgery for my eye. Uh, I'll be getting the surgery tomorrow morning. This is Sunday, uh, the uh, December the 3rd. And uh, tomorrow morning, uh, right around 7.30 in the morning, I'll uh, be getting the silicone taken out of the eye uh, due to my ret retina detachment. Uh, really don't know the procedure on how they go about doing that. To my understanding, they take some needles, stick it in the eyes, uh, in the eye, and then they start uh, syringing it out. There's a little bit of danger when when that's going on. Uh, to my understanding, there's uh, several different things that can go wrong. It, uh, yeah, whenever they're taking the the doctor's taking the silicone out. What can happen is it can uh, pull the retina back off, and therefore uh, the doc, my doctor, my, uh, what's doing the surgery, uh, he's he's a fantastic doctor. Uh, he just I couldn't find a better one. He's a he's a retina specialist and has done this for a long, long time. Uh, so. I really don't feel any any uh, like complications coming, but he uh, did advise me that if it does pull the uh, retina off, he will go ahead and repair it again. But then I'm down to square one again, uh, down to uh, like the first time I had the detachment, and I hope that don't happen. I was uh, out a month uh, for that procedure back in uh, July when that happened. Just uh, something I will, I guess, cross that bridge whenever I get there. Uh, as far as getting sight back after the silicone oil was out, uh, I could get some of it back. Uh, it, it will never be 2020. And to my understanding, it would never be correctable to 2020. Uh, said I could get quite a bit of the vision back in, in that eye, or I might not get any back. Uh, I won't be blind, like I'll see nothing but blur. That's that's the thing. I'll see nothing but uh, blur like I do now. So I'm kind of used to that. It's kind of annoying at times because it's like if you were ever wear glasses or contacts and you have uh, like one of the lenses pop out or lose one of your contacts you got one eye what you're seeing good out of it, and the other eye you're not seeing good out of it. and that's what I've been dealing with since uh, uh, the surgery is uh, I got this eye what I see good out of it, and this eye what I don't so it's kind of like uh, it's not 2020 it's uh, the vision is off but I'm surviving and getting by with it and uh, just wanted to let everybody know that I'm going to more than likely not be making any videos for maybe a, a week or two if um, while the oil is uh, out and uh, I'm on the recovery phase. If it does detach, then I won't be making any videos for about a month. And I just wanted to let your viewers and subscribers know that uh, I'm not going to be gone. Uh, I will return and start making videos as soon as I can. Uh, it might be within two weeks. Uh, it might be uh, within a week. I might uh, I'll see how things go when they get the oil out. Uh, I might have a good report for everybody. And then again, I uh, might not. It's just uh, one of those things. And uh, Am I scared of the surgery? I'm not really scared of the surgery itself, uh, you know, because uh, I know I'm in good hands with the doctor. What I have, he is fantastic. 
So I'm not really not scared that wise. I'm more, I guess you'd say, anxious or uh, or hoping that it, when the oil comes out, it doesn't detach the retina again. That's because I don't want to have to go through that uh, process again of keeping my uh, head down, looking at the floor uh, for three weeks and uh, limited what I can do. I can't go anywhere, can't do anything but look at the floor. And that's, that, that just, I don't want to have to do that again. I don't, I don't wish that really on nobody. I, I wouldn't wish that on my worst enemy if I had one. I don't think I do, but if I do, I, I might have one out there. Maybe two. Who knows? But I still wouldn't wish that on them. Uh, it's, it's, the thing is, when it comes to your eyes, you, you know, kind of concerned about it because that's your lifeline there. Um, if it was your, your hand or leg or something uh, and they had to amputate it, uh, you can always get like a, a hook or, or a, another plastic hand. They make hands now what, uh, to my understanding, will work almost like the, uh, the real ones. But uh, being an eye, it, it, you can't replace that. So uh, I'm going to go any further. I, I just want to let all of you viewers and subscribers know that if you don't see me around for uh, a few weeks that you know what's going on with me and I'm not left the channel or I'm not, I'm, I'm coming back. Uh, I mean, uh, if I'll make videos uh, if I have one eye. I mean, I'll, I'll still keep making them videos. Uh, but I appreciate all you viewers and subscribers and all your support. And uh, that's what really keeps me going. And uh, I get uh, tons of support at, at my job and everything. Just a, a great bunch of people down there to, to work with. I mean, it's just, I couldn't ask to uh, work for, for a, a better than department than I work for. It just, uh, they're, they're just so, uh, I don't know, we're, we're like family over there. It's the best way to put it. I'm going to go ahead and get to drinking my coffee here, and uh, I'm sure Mrs. Scoggett's got some work for me to do around here, uh, maybe carrying out the trash or something, or something else. But, uh, Mrs. Scoggett, and uh, appreciate all you viewers and subscribers. Just want to uh, give make this little video just to let you know what's going on with me. And uh, like I say, I'll have the surgery uh, tomorrow, which will be December 4th at 7.30 in the morning. And uh, then we'll go from there and I'll make a, a follow-up video as soon as I can on uh, what, uh, how, how the eyes are doing. So uh, this is Scoggin and I uh, hope y'all have a good day, have a good morning and uh, y'all take care.